part of the work they're doing here at Blue Heron Bridge. You know, my expectation was like they were going to take over the whole underneath the bridge. And you can see they have, I don't know, those two guys, those three guys over there. So maybe there's ten guys here all together. Um, you can see them. You can see where they have the barrier here. It only goes up to the um, to the playground, so you can still access the whole West Beach. You can see, see here. Here's a guy coming in on his paddleboard or whatever. So, um, yeah, I guess eventually maybe they'll get really busy, but for the time being, um, this is. Uh, a minor inconvenience. I don't know, for me, um, once I'm in the park, I'll find a way to get in the water. It's uh, when they finally close the bridge down and it's only in, you know, a uh, lane in each direction. That's going to be a real bummer driving here, a real bummer trying to get in here trying to get out of here um, and just trying to get across the bridge in general. I don't know, the sun's pretty bright this morning. Yeah, it's too bright, but the lifeguard stand is way out there on the beach. Um, all right, so here's everything they have blocked off right now. So you can see. Anyway, it's just not... Um, for the time being, it's just not an issue. Um, you can see what they've done here. Um, I don't know what the purpose of that. I don't know if they're going to pour on top of that. Or if that's there so that they can remove the cement that's above it. I have no idea, but... This is pretty much what they've been doing um, this week. And so, um, if you were thinking about coming here tomorrow, it's gonna be a zoo like it is on the weekend, but it's not gonna be um, so bad that you can't get in the way.